What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another. My name is Jeff. Reacts. Welcome back to your Dylan Day. Yes, guys, I went kind of rogue on you this week, and I do deeply apologize for that. I'll get into the matters this week. Nothing really major happened, just. Yeah. Like I said, we'll get into it later. I want to get into this as fast as possible and get you guys some videos going. Again, I cannot express my gratitude. I'm deeply sorry, but. I hope you guys are having a good day, and if not, I hope I can bring some sort of positive light to your day, because guys, whatever's going on for you, whatever it may be, just remember that you are not alone. You are never alone. You're a warrior. You're a soldier. Stay strong. I believe in you, and if you need it, the comments are there for you to vent, or you can DM me personally on my socials, but you do got this. Brofist. High five. You got this, guys. I know it's easier said than done, but you do got this. Try and stay with me. Now, let's go. Chest thrown and tables toppled Hands armed with broken bottles Standing no chance to win But we're not running We're not running Hold on, I want to get one pause in real quick. I'm going to try to make these pauses as brief as possible because I usually end up talking for like five freaking minutes at a time and I'm not going to do that. Very interesting already to just see the music video alone being surrounded by the tour. Just, I see an orchestra right here, but obviously they got the tour bus, the stage, they're meeting fans and just a general tour vibe. I love that. They're not trying to go out of their way to talk about, you know, do a storyline. I mean, Obviously, there's going to be a story to the song, especially when you got a song called Behind Closed Doors. As for the usual, I can only imagine the song itself is just about inner demons or being an outcast or something. I have the meaning right over here. We'll look at the meaning on the, ne the uh, next pause, actually, but I like the song itself so far. I'm definitely not... The closed captions are actually on for a change. I didn't even... I mean, I noticed that at first, but I didn't... I'm so curse for the closed captioning because I usually think because in the past most of YouTube's closed captions you know they didn't even actually get the lyrics right for anything they didn't get anything right on the video so I'm kind of like eh should I trust it but they actually did pretty well for a band made and now it seems like they're doing pretty good for Rise Against too it is poetry you know just 2000s emo poetry <laughs> you know just hauntingly beautiful stuff I like the dude's voice I don't I know I swear I've listened to Rise Against on this channel before but I don't remember the exact song that I did. I'll look it up afterwards, I promise. But either way, I like the dude's voice, love the guitar. Definitely already can't help myself, but keep doing the air drum. It's sick. Let's just get back into it. Already off to a good start. And this is the middle of nowhere, that's random. Oh, I'm 
Okay, hold on, just real quick, I'm just gonna pause. I'm not even gonna say anything in this one. I realize so, I'm so close to the end of the song. I'm just gonna do this moment of speaking right here for copyright and we'll get right back into it. Are we good? You good? Have I gone long enough? Sweet, okay, thanks. I punched right at the end. You see, when I do those pauses, like the timer on the song itself actually said like two minutes and 30 seconds. And now we're at three minutes and 13 seconds. So it's like, you got 30 seconds, but it's like that 30 seconds goes by like 10 seconds in itself. Like, what the crap? It goes by so fast. Like, you might as well just literally play the very end of the song. Like, damn it. That 30 seconds might as well be you finish out the last two bars of the chorus and then. So I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. I paused at the end of the song. My bad. I, it's one of those, it seriously falls under one of those things. You never know what timing you're going to have in the song when you're reacting to it for the first time. You don't know when the chorus is going to hit, when this verse is going to hit, when the bridge is going to hit. If you're listening to a song for the first time, you, you just can't know. You can't. I'm not just saying that for you guys. I'm saying that for myself. I'm beating myself up personally like crap. I wish I actually knew. Okay, actually, I see a video right here actually that I reacted to before. The Good Left Undone. I can't believe I don't remember doing that one. I recognize the, the thumbnail of it. I've done that. I just don't actually... I bet you if I turned it on right now, I know it. I guarantee it. I'll check that out again later. I know I've done that though. Let's go through these lyrics. Chairs thrown in table style. Yeah, I definitely actually remember that. Hands on with broken bottles. Standing no chance to win, but we're not running. We're not running. There's a point I think we're missing. It's in the air we raise our fists in. In the smiles that we cast each other, my sister, my brother, about the time we gave up hoping we never find these locks still open. Stumbling on stones unturned, the hurt we feel we all have found, the lines we've crossed in search of change, but they all, all they see is treason. Although we have no obligation to stay alive on broken backs, so we beg for mercy, we still survive. I won't be left here behind closed doors, bonfires bummed like beacons, guiding the lost and weakened flames, dance on crashing waves, guiding ships who've gone astray. Time out, let's stop and think this through, we've all got better things to do, a talk in circles, run in place, answers, inch, answers inches from my face. Although we have no obligation to stay alive on broken backs, we have mercy. So then the chorus a couple more times. This sounds like outcast stuff and you know, just being an outcast in general and trying to just enjoy life despite how, despite people's negative comments and just dealing with your inner demons in general. Any strong, okay, this, a lot of these meanings are really long, like, and these are actual comments from other people. These are really long and I don't want to go through them all. So let's get the gist here. Somebody said, great song, it has a really interesting meaning behind it. I think it talks about how some people will just look at the current state that other people are in and say, oh crap, they screwed, wish I could help. But when they have their own life threatened, they suddenly do whatever they can to stay alive. In other words, thinking, oh, it's so sad that person is dealing with something and then not actually doing anything about it. And once their own life is in trouble, they wish somebody would help. Like, oh, now you want help. You weren't, you weren't willing to help somebody else, but now you want help. Like, yeah, okay. And, that's, and that goes for a lot of people in society. I don't think that's just a thing of being split down the middle. You know, the left only helps people. The right does nothing or the right helps people. There's a lot of that that goes around. Like a lot of people will just go, that's really sad. And then actually do nothing about it. Yeah, this song seems to be kind of about how people are behind a revolution at first but never really do anything besides small protests they spin their wheels when they spin their wheels never really achieving much but then it seems like they get beaten down badly and then it turns out there's no way they're gonna let their oppressors take away their voice for their rights no matter how badly things get they will never quit so in other words like at first they want to let their voices be heard but they're not really willing to you know, be all or nothing. Like, hey, this is important to us, but 
we're not really willing to die for this. That seems kind of silly. Like, it's important to me, but I don't really want to get in too much trouble. Like, dude, you kind of actually got to make a point to get your point across. You can't just say, well, this is important to me, and then just sit there. Like, you got to do more than that. Actions speak way louder than words. And to just do a small protest is never going to get you anywhere. It's just not. And it sounds like what this person thinks the meaning is, is they're realizing that and deciding, actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and actually take action. And, and it's just that in itself. Whatever the actual thing that you want to go for, but like it's, it's speaking out to the masses saying, hey, actions speak louder than words. Don't just say something is important to you and do a small protest. Take actual action, whatever that means. But get out there and don't just preach it. Don't just speak what you want. Take action. Go out and actually do something about it besides small protest. I'm not saying you have to commit any crimes by any means, but there's other ways to make your voice heard, especially besides just standing in the street and chanting stuff. Like, just take actual action. And I can understand that. I'm, I'm actually on board with that. Not that protesting wouldn't be cool to some extent, but there's some things that are much bigger... These, these big tech companies don't care about that. Like these bigger corporations, like just a few small people or even a few hundred people, they don't care about that stuff. They just don't. Actions speak louder than words. You gotta do more than that. You'd almost have to have millions of people gathered and, I don't know, yeah, doing something. But you know, either way, looking at this, whether it's try, someone trying to have their voice be heard or Simply like this other person said, you know, I'm down on my luck. I wish I, I wish someone helped me When you passed by so many other people and just said, oh, that's so sad I, I, That's unfortunate that they're dealing with that and ignored them like oh now you want help like There's so many things going on in the world and we all are so ignorant to other people's problems, you know, it's so sad We all get so used to just saying, well, I mean, there's not really anything I can do about it and granted when it comes to laws and ordinances and local like mandates and stuff, there's not really a whole lot you can do for people, but you really should just be able to say more than just, oh, I feel so sorry for that person as you're walking or driving away. Like we need to actually help others like get out and actually do something. This is just saying in general, like I'm, I want to arrive at a point and say, Hey, do you want to do this? Do you guys want to help me with this? But I don't actually have any charities or organizations on me right now but it's a general thing to just practice what you preach actually go and show your worth go and actually show that you're willing to help people actions speak louder than words simple as that do something not trying to say go out and be violent but there are way there are ways to do stuff you know i need to shut up now i'm being i'm sounding way too vague i know what i'm trying to say but i don't know if it's actually coming across but i'm gonna shut up from here i actually really like that i really do that's well done. Just well done. I'm going to let that go from here. You guys in the comments to let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, remember, my name is Jeff. Pep Junkies Unite. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or I'll see you guys soon. Love, peace, and chicken grease. You guys have a fantastic day, a fantastic night, and a great rest of your weekend. I'll see you guys soon.